July 22nd, 2024. Uh, and this is what is in post uh, Yugoslavia, basically the situation. It's pretty much what it looks like. It's like uh, they they murder you basically for for anything. They go out there and they fucking kill people for jobs, for whatever the fuck it takes. Uh, corruption is simply flourishing and it's for sale. Psychiatry is for sale. Police is for sale. Uh, bandit capitalism. Now we are in a bandit capitalism. We were before in a bandit socialism. We are now in the bandit capitalism. Now... Bandit capitalism is now guilty for everything. It's now they have like free hands. This, this, this is all coming from the lines of previously sworn in so-called communists. They are running this show. And so now in the territory of the ex-Yugoslavia, it's just anything goes through. So let's go and see what's going on in Mostar. Uh, Mostar is a city in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, that's basically here, and this is a canton, uh, a place that predominantly is of Croatian and Bosnian uh, population. What I'm going to say to you, I don't have much. This is about as good as it gets. I did remove the picture and the picture was like this. And the thing is that I decided I'm not going to put the picture. Uh, it's not something about the picture. I was going to insert on the blog, I'm going to dedicate instead video to this trash. Um, what you see here, these physicians here that you're about to see here, these are really of... They were really secretive about it, except for this guy here that listed himself literally like Croat, you know, what is he, a psychiatrist, obviously, um, talks about Croatia, this and that, Croatia, 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 this guy was involved in my case, in 2010 he finished this, He was involved much longer in this case. This guy was involved much longer in the case. I should know his history. There is some of these people here. You see here on this side here that even have some kind of uh, different kind of background. You know, I should go over and this stuff, but they, they have resumes here. They posted their resumes. So it's, yeah. Well, in a way, it's it's helpful for me to see that he mentions Croatia, this and that, but um, this supposed that the people that I have chosen, like the people that I liked, maybe I like this lady, I don't know what happened during MK Ultra and this one, I have no idea what went on. Um, Finally, this stuff, I don't know what to say. Uh, maybe they're all Croats, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I really don't know what the deal is, but... I am not really happy about this stuff. I'm not really, really happy about this stuff. Um, these people, <laughs> they don't even know about the whole thing. And they list themselves here without even understanding what the fuck went on here, in this case. Um, to, to me, it seems like that one mentions Zagreb. To me, it seems like this is, this is a Croats or something like that. 
even they're all not supposed to be or whatever the case might be but this this these are all crawlets to me it seems like um there is a problem with this stuff here i don't know how much these people were aware of this stuff but the problem that these people are trying to create probably doesn't make any sense anyways now whatever you might be when you read this here whatever you were involved in this stuff when you read this here this is not probably the picture where you want to be anywhere next to this guy here this is probably not where you want to find yourself next to this guy from what I stated, this guy gave his oath to Slobodan Milosevic in front of me, not on one occasion, right here in Slovenia, in front of Slobodan Milosevic and Milan Kuchan. Will get me killed, even for the cost of what would be, if he would have to, would run to Serbia, Russia, whatever he would get asylum. Uh, to me, this stuff, based on his behavior, you're in the Balkan Wars. Uh, it's very, very convincing. He was very convincing with his criminal behavior against me. Um, stuff that I described about, whatever they were doing in Travena with me, and I stated, it's called University psychiatric is this a psychiatric hospital university psychiatric hospital Mostar. well the thing is i'm going to explain to you it's like this it's not a clinic as a psychiatry mm -hmm. Probably I would be just better off. You see, it doesn't give me. This here, this stuff here, this. Very, very impossible for me to. It says University Clinical Hospital Mostar. Uh, la 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 la. Uh, here's the deal with this stuff here. In this department, this is what this is what this get on the picture. This stuff here. In this department, what they would do, it's exactly the procedure I described. This all started in afternoons, sometimes in 2011. Uh, it would be first a physician uh, and then it would be a younger girl he would relate me to that would also have me stay there uh, but the thing is this was not a classic psychiatric hospital these were like rooms um, like how the fuck can I say this these are like fucking rooms like you go to to a hospital and what they would do over there with me is they would do like intraveno whatever they were doing and they were taking blood samples and intraveno something that in 2014 became like with a visit of Milorad Dodik a very prominent Serb from Bosnia who would usually come to the neighboring city let me see this here I did not even invest investigate this stuff entirely and he would be using mayor from the town which is next to Mostar also to penetrate uh, in there invisibly you know this is Mostar let me see that stuff here this is kind of fucking weird because I don't see here you know I don't see here another another city here I see here it says Potoshi Yablanica <laughs> You know, um,
Yeah, I don't I don't see anywhere where he would be where he would be having access uh near Mostar, you know. I don't know, maybe this Nevesinia or or I have no idea, but when I look at the map here It was a city that was not too far from Mostar. Yeah, well, what fucking city was this? I don't know. Eh? Um, Stolats? Okay, this is where we get a little better idea. Nevesnia, oh fuck a. Oh. Wow. Okay, I get the point. I get the point. I know, I did not uh, anticipate it. This stuff is so close here. So, this year. This is very, very, very familiar, this Nevesinia, this picture that I see, this church, every fucking time, every fucking time. So, wow, it a little bit uh, surprised me here with this. Stolats is not, but then you have Nevesinia, definitely. So, and then you have even Istochni Mostar here. So this is Serbian Croatian border basically here hardcore border so here anything can happen and that's what he would be coming he would be also using I'm gonna repeat to you I will explain to you there's something else here that I need to see he would be also using however this is what's interesting according to me he would not be using uh, only this Nevesinje mayor, yeah, he had Nevesinje mayor, not get the Vesinje mayor, but he had some kind of a, what appeared to me like a Bosnian mayor, and that one appeared to me like, I had no clue, that looked to me like in direction of Jablanica, Shiroki Breg or something like that, I have no idea what What is this Shiroki Brick? Is it uh, population, maybe Bosnian or I don't know. He was using some kind of Bosnian guy. He connected himself. He had two mayors, Milorad Dodik, from Nevesinje and he had a mayor, I think, from Shiroki Brick, something like this. And with this mayors, he had a capacity to also enter Mostar uh, completely like straight to the this university hospital without anyone even knowing about it. And you're talking about afternoons, nights, where he would go personally there and was checking on exactly what went on. And you're talking about 2014, whatever they were doing with me. So, I'm going to tell you, the mayor of Nevesinje, Shiroki Briek, were involved in the stuff I'm talking about. That's why I'm recording this video. Now, this hospital here, this university, it's called University Clinical Hospital. This, I don't remember them having psychiatric department. I remember them having some rooms in there where for which they suggested me that they also had like patients in there but those are the rooms like see it, it kind of reminds me of like modern rooms like i don't know i i uh something like a hospital you know it's not like i i don't i don't know about seeing this kind of, uh, I don't recall this kind of stuff, seeing this kind of stuff in the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana, Polia, anywhere, anything like this. 
you're talking about like a typical hospital staff stuff um yeah obviously that would be like a closed department but that would be like for the people that would be like in a pajamas and you could you could say like a typical patient inside of the hospital um Would I have ability to discern between the mental patients and between between like uh, patients? Yeah, honestly, to tell you, no, not really. They acted like they are a little bit ticked in the head, but there was a lot of people who did this kind of stuff under this kind of circumstances. And then there is a bigger problem with all this stuff. This problem here. This is what the problem is. This here. This is what the problem is. Maybe these people wanted to resolve this issue. But this is not the way to resolve anything. Unless you have information I don't have. And what exactly do I mean is... These people obviously had certain information. Because I have written here... I, I barely posted and took this off. Because within a minute... I did go to this website here. By the coincidence, I have clicked on the girl that it sent to me familiarized. Familiar. This girl here. And so the next thing I found myself right here. And this is called. What is this here? Psychiatric Ordinance uh, Milicevic. Oh my god. Eh? Yeah, so I. I actually was correct about this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't even taken that stuff off. It's going back. Um, what's going on with this uh, psychiatric hospital, Milicevic? Uh, it says here it was open in 2020. Okay. Uh, let me just see this stuff here. This is here, Knesa Vyacheslava Olsen B8800 Master, Bosnia and Herzegovina. What they did, something very, very, very bad. Okay, I'm going to say to you what exactly they did. This, this definitely I was interested in her. That there is no doubt about it. But here's what it is. These people fucked with me in a sense that they told me after well yeah you talk about probably some they made things incredibly difficult for me like I even have a feeling like they know a whole lot of more I I you know why would you do the stuff like this if you don't know anything well I'm gonna give all the hints why they, they might have done this stuff The problem with this stuff is that, and everything I'm going to state is going to be a wild guessing. It's going to be a fucking wild guessing. Yeah. Like this. Kneza Mihaila Vishevicha Homskoga 39. 8B, whatever, uh, what is this? 8,000 8, or what? You see where it says Clinica za Psychiatriu? Kneza Mihaila Vishevicha Homskog 39. Okay. It says Kneza Mihailovich Humskog 39, Mostar F V. This is the address. It says Clinica za Psychiatriu. Now, let me present you with this issue here. And then tell me what to think about this stuff.
Okay, okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. These people really, really fucked me. I, I will explain to you in what sense now. Now it got to me in what sense. Uh, they stated to me in 2000 and probably, hell man, 2017, 2018, 2018, yeah, 2017, they told me, um, and you're fucked. Uh, and you're fucked. I was on a frequent basis interacting with these people. On a frequent basis. I would interact with these people. My God, who the fuck knows for how long. Very, 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 very long. Um, well, she finished this in, what is it, 2014? Diplomacy uh, in Formatologia. It's not honestly 2014. Um, obviously, obviously, I would say when she was in high school. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same fucking thing. These people gave up on me time and again because I was unacceptable, because everything was wrong with me which is a classic symptom of London corruption. That's organized crime, basically. Everything was wrong with me. Now, what was wrong with me? Well, I found whatever I had to find to keep her away from me. <coughs> whatever. Uh, just so I could get maybe to her. You know, I was always looking for something that I would find. And in a group, I typically would go and I would find myself whatever was the most suitable for me. And so, because there were Tetschnikod Muche. That means uh, they, they insisted like flies. You know, when you try to get the flies away push them away, and they don't fucking go, and they keep coming back, and you know what the fuck to do to get rid of them. Um, till you say something, then whatever the fuck you say, it's all done on a sleep deprivation torture platform. Then that's what they are catching you for, and fucking you further and further. This is the way it goes. Um, basically, This one here is supposed to be even a Serb. This is why I was not com compatible with her or whatever. That's what she told me. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, they, they always find a way out. I mean, no matter what. No matter what the fuck you would do. It was just... They were doing stuff. Nasty, filthy stuff like this. Time flew, time flew. And I lost 52 years in a progress. You know, I admire these people to even pop up their faces on the internet, honestly. I don't know how the fuck you do that. How, where you have a capacity to go about this kind of stuff that, you know, I congratulate you. I, I actually, I admire you to have a guts to do something like this. Because personally, I would not have. If I would fuck somebody like this, do stuff like that, I would not have a guts to pop up on the internet. It's simple as this. Man, uh, for this kind of stuff, you get easily, easily, easily killed. For this kind of stuff, you get easily, easily, easily thrown in a jail with a 10 life terms at least to serve. Enough that you witnessed, that you testified, and this group of people presented me in 2018, 2017 with an issue which suggested, well, we were fucking around with you. Um, 
the facility obviously we're talking about uh, looks uh, looks good this facility it looks good this facility looks good this here this facility looks very good this facility looks really good and the thing about it is when you look at like this the fucking facility looks like God knows how many psychiatric hospitals, whatever hospitals they have in Bosnia. They look like other psychiatric hospitals I already described about on block, where they had me. I don't know how much you agree with it, but the fucking Google Maps are now working, if you pay attention to. If you want to go see this here, you're not going to see shit. Because when you're going to click on this on the road, on the street map, you're not going to see shit. You don't know a fucking thing where you are at. What you depend on is this little picture here. And this little picture here is just not much different from this picture here. Oh, let's say this one here. Is there like... If you find yourself on a street, it could somewhat look like this one because they all look like squares like this and or the one I have described here which is uh, oh shit and the thing is I did not even bother much with going over this hospitals and so on no, no, you guys do not understand anything. You don't fucking get anything. You're, you're not going to confuse me with this stuff. You are... Uh, the city that I demonstrated you, this city, this is the most satanical, diabolical town here, this year. This is like Serbia, like... on a steroids here. I was correct. I was 100% correct about about the stuff I have written here earlier. However, because this is located in the same fucking street, it's also located on a Knezza Mihaila Vishevica Humskok, but on the other address. I no longer know what the fuck went on. Especially because these people here told me we were fucking around with you. And I was exactly this girl. I asked, what do you mean that you fuck around with me? <laughs> and she said to me, this is not, this does not exist, this place. And I was like, really, this place does not fucking exist. So if this place doesn't exist, I asked myself at the time, what the fuck is it that exists? You're talking about 2018 here. 2017, 2018. So you're fucking saying to me after like 10 more years meeting you in a role of the psychiatrist that this place doesn't exist. You do you understand how fucked up this stuff is? She is... Uh, what is this here? Uh, philosophical faculty, Mostar, and then Information Science 2014 or whatever. Uh, that would do it. Uh, and this one here is, what is this here? This is uh, 2010 or whatever, 2000. Uh, a nurse, 2014. Um, and. Um, what is this here? A 15, is this psychiatrist 2015? Okay, the truth is that I cannot say that um, that this women that I have seen them as a psychiatrist. I cannot say this. The thing is that uh, I didn't give a fuck about psychiatrists. I really didn't care about any psychiatrists. I, I didn't pay any attention to psychiatrists. Uh, why the fuck would I put the attention to psychiatrists? 
think about nothing is wrong with you and you know that nothing is wrong with you you know nothing is happening to you you know that you're 100 percent sane that you have absolutely everything under control so why the fuck would you be interested in whatever psychiatrists have to say because they didn't have anything smart to say anyways what they talked about is mostly in bosnia and mostly in Croatia and mostly in Serbia and so on and so forth especially I'm such an irregular case because this stuff started during my childhood and in Slovenia they first talk about Yugoslavia then they talk about Serbia etc etc uh, then in Bosnia and in Croatia started to dare me if I think they cannot do the same or whatever the fuck they have problems with uh, the problems existed in their heads. The truth is, I didn't give a fuck about what they had to say, because they didn't have anything to say. It was clear to me, it was clear to them, it was clear to me, that they are stealing the fucking time. They are ripping my life apart. So that's why I said, man, I admire you, that you dare to appear on the internet. I truly, truly admire you. Um, so this lady here, I don't know what to tell you. And this guy here, I don't know what to say. What does it say here? He got the psychiatric in 2017, dude. Uh, this one here, he's got his uh, medical faculty in Mostar 2010. Um, this is a psychotherapeut um, psychotherapeut I don't know how you even uh, a therapist uh, a fucking therapist uh, mental whatever uh, this is like behavioral cognitive um, uh, this is basically what he does he would typically go out and correct mistakes that people developed, whatever, advise people in a nice way, etc., etc. There's like a soft type of psychiatry in that sense. And then you have this lady here. Uh, this is a psychologist, obviously. It has nothing to do with psychiatry. So, man, they're posing to me with this here. With this stuff here, they're posing with me, to me with this. And uh, this lady, what is this? Karlsruhe, Germany. I remember every one of them. I remember her. Uh, this I have to be extremely, extremely careful. Extremely careful, yeah. This is, this is a very, very fucked up case. Very, very fucked up case. Uh, got the faculty in Zagreb 2001. Uh, this is uh, her parents, she was involved in it. Um, supposedly she was interested in me and I was just not interested in her. And uh, so this is like an old, old people that were involved since, since very, some of them, very, very long time. Very long time. It, it, it's like a very nice group. It's like fantastic and everything really um, the thing is that the thing is that this kids they got together in 2010 yeah in 2000 I'm gonna tell you exactly how the background of this stuff was in 2010 uh, they started to prepare something in 2008 2009 Croats started to organize, this is exactly from the Croats, they started to organize uh, some kind of a counter-offensive, like, because things turned really dark for me. And they came to realize that they're going to have to do something, whatever. The thing is that um, I... I, I uh, There was a lot of bad stuff that went on in Mostar with the Croats. For one thing, I mean, like I said, when you when you get into this stuff, you're crazy. I mean, you don't know what Croatia had done to me in Mostar. 
Croatia alone. Uh, Croatia alone used me for espionage big time. What they do is they throw you into an environment that is mixed environment that is of different ethnic backgrounds and then what they do is they watch what's going on, your interactions and so on. The more shit that you create, the more you are, via, the more you are uh, valuable because the stronger feedback you get, uh, the more they know whom they are dealing with and within the society. This is a type of espionage that went on big time. Where not only Croatia but anywhere in the world with the narco traffic in Colombia, in Brazil, in whatever the fuck you, you want, Mexico, uh, and all the way in the US with all kinds of racial issues and so on. Man. When they came up with this plan in 2009, I was not happy about it. You have no fucking idea what I thought about Croatia. Um, luckily for me, it was only happening during MK Ultra because I don't know how I would end up if I would started to recall the stuff that went on during MK Ultra in Croatia. Insane because I always protected Croatia as much as I could, and so. This kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, with some of them even involving it, some really unpleasant stuff, they started to post how they're going to change the stuff and this and that, and they started to reverse and meet with me, and it was a different kind of uh, meetings and so on. Um, this was just a side clinic where they would deliver me occasionally. But the main stuff that went on, I don't know how much these people are even aware. But I think they are aware. Because of what I heard mentioned to you earlier in 2018, they told me, if this, by the way, this is not happening. By the way, this stuff is not happening. And when I, said, when I asked her why this stuff is not happening, and she told me for some lady that worked in some other place and some other guy worked in some uh, uh, other place and this and that. I didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. The location you see right there, they would continue to deliver me since 2010. Since 2010. And people in Mostar knew about this stuff. This is the thing. That's why, that's why I'm recording this stuff. I'm not fucking recording this without this people in Mostar knew about this stuff. So they were gathering okay, occasionally over there whenever I was delivered to Mostar. So this gives me an idea that this was like totally Croatian run um, operation when it comes to Mostar. And then there was a really, really ugly stuff that went on much, 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 much fucking longer than with these guys here who didn't do much, but they added extra oil, extra fuel to the fire. They present themselves like a local society, like some kind of renegades that are going to be out there to help me out and this and that. And the locals learned about it. It added extra fuel against me. Uh, they spice it up even more. This already was, anyway, it's like a fucking war field. Now it got even worse. And the real tragedy that went on behind all this was located in this hospital. In this fucking hospital, in this one here. It's called University Clinical Hospital in Mostar. This here. You know, when I think about this stuff, this here. This was the this was the main fucking thing. This was even more main thing than this hospital here. It was even more worse. Where the hell is that one? Clinicas of Psychiatria. 
Kneza 39 Mostar we're gonna do this but this here is 8B look at the address Vyshislava oh fuck Kneza Vyshislava this is Pavishevich okay Mikhaila Vyshevich Humskok 39 very next door to the other hospital to what became in 2020 if you pay attention to they 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 uh, they exist in 2000 since 2020 they say you know um i'm not disturbed with this stuff i'm not disturbed with this stuff it's it's okay it's okay it doesn't anger me any of this stuff it's fine i don't you know I have seen a lot of this stuff. It doesn't bother me, this kind of stuff. But this is just next door. This is just next door. Now, the, the problem with this stuff is you could say, you could even say or come to conclusion that the guys whom I have demonstrated you and are next door. Okay, let's do it like this. So I'm going to demonstrate it. This is very, very, very close. This is just next door. You can say that these guys did know nothing about it, which is not really possible. It's not possible. This is just next door. How many meters is this? 1.3 kilometers. 18 minutes of walk 18 minutes of walk right next door and you can say you can say listen you can say that this guy is here at Kneza Vyshislava did not know anything about what the fuck went on at Kneza Mikhaila Vyshevich Ahumskok 39, uh, 39 this is a real psychiatric hospital this year this looks different this looks like this. Uh, what did I just do now? Geez, this one here it is, okay. you can say that you can say that those guys know nothing about oh come on no way all right uh, I am so fed up with this here most of it. come on I'm done with this Oh wow, now there is no buildings. Um, uh, Clinica Zopsi Trio. Kneza Mihailovich, da 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 da. Epic, come on, man. Um this is bullshit excuse me for me to express myself like this but i'm not looking forward to this stuff now i need to finish this and move on here 
they're just not giving the fucking pictures. This here are pictures. This here that you see here. Hold on. Where is this? Shiaoi. They would always take me. I remember this houses, this housing, this beautiful housing, and I was really thrilled about these beautiful houses. But then it turned out to be something else. Um, I uh, do. I have the same address here. Let me see this here. Hubskok thirty nine A. Okay. Uh, obviously, I have to go by the name because they're hiding this so much. Clinica za psychiatriu Mostar. Yeah, they're they're hiding this shit like, and anxiously hiding this stuff. Listen, this stuff here. This is where they do have closed departments inside in this here in this here they have closed departments inside in there and what they were doing with me is they would lock me inside of the closed departments there were two closed departments in this two closed departments they would just they would just lock me with other patients now i was drugged up without having any capacity ability to defend myself all i wanted to do is as the drug the person would do, basically do my fucking sentence. Every fucking MK Ultra send, uh, session was a fucking sentence. Uh, in this case, I will be thrown into environment with psychiatric patients that were medicated. Some of them had a violent outbursts. Others simply acted to suffer a violent outburst the thing is when you're drugged up you really don't know what the fuck goes on and when this stuff goes on and you're in the lock department and you're meeting psychiatrists that come in your face and you're death threatening you that you can stay there for years for all your life and stuff like this this sure is not a pleasant environment to be in so this is where i was locked inside whenever I would deliver it to a Mostar at least since 2000 uh, but there is a problem with this stuff it's a big problem with this stuff because there are two psychiatric hospitals in Mostar with one where they had me already locked up already since I don't know maybe even 1990 1994 maybe something like this and now I supposed to know also because the other one was opened at later time few years later which one is which I should be looking at more buildings and stuff like this but I think this was the one the possibility as in it that this was the building already that goes all the way to 1994 now at the same time in what started a later period and just as I described on the website here is where this hospital here appeared in the picture it's called the University Hospital of Mostar which is not a typical psychiatric hospital like I said this one really looks like a modern this like this like a really really modern hospital okay okay university psychiatric hospital Mostar would be this here University Clinical Hospital Mostar is this one here. Hmm. They don't show anything psychiatric. Hmm, that's strange. Um, 
Yes, it it it, it really looks like a like a like a like completely hospital, like I explained at the beginning of the video. I did not see any kind of closed de departments in there, like typical stuff that you see inside of the psychiatric hospitals. Uh, but instead of that, I have seen rooms, uh, like totally like for the patients, I mean rooms. Um, yeah, okay, maybe, but those are really different rooms, I could describe those rooms, well describe them. Um, you know, the people act stupid. You you will not when you are drugged up under MK Ultra. You're not going to discern between. Don't think that psychiatric patients cannot act stupid, because they know how to act very very good. Stupid. They are good actors. They know about that stuff. They will do it, man, to get the the extra pack of cigarettes or uh, maybe three days extra at home. They'll they'll fuck you over like you don't believe. You won't know what what ran you over. If they need to do it, and there is plenty of the stuff people would do in this type of social standings to get around, people will fucking do anything you want. As a psychiatrist, whatever you ask them, you will get it from them. This is a world of terror, the worst shit, the worst human standing. There is, it's a misery. It's a total misery, this world. I'm talking about and so in this place here this is where they started in 2011 what appears to me what appeared to me something very not good very fucked up very nasty stuff something that I have not had honor to experience anywhere else they first presented me to the physicians where they would keep taking me to this hospital to do the checkups and stuff like this, whatever they were doing. But then in 2014, they started to do some kind of procedure that involved like uh, intravenous, whatever the fuck they were doing. And at the same time, they were like obsessed with taking on every uh, few hours, on every few fucking hours, they, they would go and they would take my fucking blood tests and analyze me. Like I was like, what the fuck went on over there? Anyways, supposedly this is a psychiatric hospital and the treatment was luxurious when compared to the psychiatric lunacy that went on inside of this hospital that I demonstrate you. So they were using this hospital here to cause a total chaos, trauma, and make me feel good to be transferred actually to this hospital that I demonstrated you, which is a, a clinical hospital of some kind with a, a, a probably also psychiatric department inside smaller to do whatever the fuck they were doing with me which was not done in a psychiatric department but actually in a settings that completely are like match the status of a modern hospital this is what I believe was a poisoning that went on in 2014 because why the fuck would you go do some kind of procedure on an individual that would go for about two days or something like this and I would be frequently delivered like in afternoons and nights this is all fucked up in the morning I would disappear they would make me disappear in the mornings you know what I mean they would make me simply disappear in the mornings why the fuck would they make me disappear in the mornings from the beginning they were like afraid like for anybody that would even see me in the mornings and stuff like this. Yeah, very, very, very unexplainable stuff. And the one who was checking at this hospital also happened so that also was there. He came in person also was Milorad Dodik, who concluded in my face was very, very pleased with it. Now you're talking about the, the only individual that will be taking me to the strips was none other than Slovenian Borut Pahar. And I don't, I will not repeat myself whatever I outlined here in respect to Borat Pahar. I don't have anything else. This guy made the pledge he's going to kill me for the cost of even if he would have to run across the border to the Serbia, to the Russia. So this is not, this, this, this kind of environment to be around people like this, 
with stuff that went on and with what was defined as my being chronically killed at the psychiatric hospital that they did some kind of psychiatric hospital in Bonapolia that they did something to me they blamed on psychiatric medications it appears to me that was the final blow was delivered through the psychiatric hospital in Bonapolia but it was not delivered through psychiatric medications it was a psychiatric hospital in Bonapolia that was used to cover up with medications for something else that went on appears to me in Mostar that's in Bosnia and Herzegovina through this guy here whom nobody by the way could understand what the fuck was he going always after to Mostar what was that all about that's the account I can give you about what went on about this guys here this stuff here I'd love to say they knew nothing about this stuff The thing is, it's impossible for me to say this because of what I suggested to you. They started with this operation in 2010. Well, what the fuck were you doing in 2010? If you got nothing to do with this stuff, few blocks away for which you knew and in addition, I was delivered also to you as one of the locations. One location was University Hospital in Mostar in another location also with you guys how the fuck is it from my point of view to say that you did not know anything about this stuff and the whole fucking monster knew about what went on how am I how am I supposed to see you and you know you guys are crowds so you guys played filthy over there in monster what I want to say is the city next to the Mostar, which is this city here, I demonstrated you this city here. This here this city here, which is Nevesinia this here, was not all by itself with the Shiroki Briek. I think it was Shiroki Briek. And I need to see Yablanica for me to see what, what Yablanica looks like. I am afraid that No, I don't think so. I don't think it was that far. Uh, I think it might have something to do with Shiroki Briek and Nevesinia. One mayor, uh, and I'm not even sure about that stuff. There was one politician from Sarajevo who was Bosnian, a Serbian politician from Nevesinia, definitely, with Milorad Dodik also. They were making the pressure on Mostar literally political pressure through the what is obviously a Croatian mayors over there which you're not gonna fucking tell me that you could not resist to something like this you're never gonna fucking convince me with this stuff that's why I told you this kind of stuff uh, it might look like helpful it might look like you wanna help me out and so on I would love to believe you that you did not know about this stuff but the thing is you knew absolutely everything about what went on but the thing is that before I'm going to take help from you, your advice, I want to get a thorough medical examination done to see what damage was done to me. Because damage was done extensive on me. When I think about psychiatric medications from Ljubljana Polia that I had to swallow, I had not seen a single fucking patient I've not seen a single fucking person, not even the person that is lobotomized, the way I looked under those psychiatric medications. And there must have been a fucking reason hiding somewhere in my liver or something like that, that had produced pain that was totally unbearable. There was a, such a pain that I was asking my mother to literally tie me on the bed during the first release from the psychiatric hospital in 2013 
which I think, by the way, took about 10 months. It was more than bestial treatment that I have undergone in the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje. Croatian government has a problem. And if this is the business, if this is what you are resorting yourself to, if this is how you see the future, uh, laughing over there and doing this kind of pedo stuff. You know how pedophile this looks like? This kind of stuff? Man, if you understood this, you're out of your fucking mind. And there, you, you could be out of the mercy too. Because in the western part of the world, they're paying attention to this stuff. They look who the fuck they're dealing with. And you had a serious problem when it comes to the Serbs. They drilled you, they fucked you because of your irrational, illogical, violent outburst decisions that you were making against me. They costed you a lot. Despite my sacrificing myself relentlessly for you, I could not convince them for many issues they have observed during this Balkan wars in Yugoslavia. And the same shit went on with Russians and Ukraine. They always are looking, learning about who the hell they are dealing with. What kind of society the hell is this? Does it pay off to be with individuals they're trying to side? Or is perhaps the other society that's more civilized, more normal, despite what it appeared to be more... Uh, friendly uh, partnering and so on this is under no circumstances funny Borut Pahar is going to have to explain about this stuff here he's going to have to give a good in and out about this stuff here because I really want to understand about what exactly went on uh, with this Mostar procedure uh, for him, it was so important to take me to Mostar. And uh, the thing is that I couldn't explain better. I couldn't explain better than what I did. The city, Nevesinia, this is what I got. Probably 100 death threats from the mayor, from the priest, from everybody over there that counted, that were obsessed with getting me killed. But that since from beginning. And the visits to Mostar... This goes to my childhood, actually. So I don't know what to tell you about it. Definitely is not a good stuff. You blending yourself in this picture like this, uh, it definitely leaves scars in the crowds that live in the Mosta region. You totally fuck it up the people over there. And I don't know what is going on here with this stuff. Is it Croatian government that is trying to destroy Croatia or... What the fuck are you trying to do? When I consider the psychiatric hospitals in Zagreb alone and stuff like this, do you actually really want to place at risk locations such as Mostar? I mean, isn't it like maybe a little bit risky for you to get yourself into with Nevesinia kind of a game? I mean, Nevesinia is like fucking radicalism. This is a fucking extreme, extremism, Serbian ex extremism. Or do you want me to become like, you think I'm going to turn myself into like some kind of crazy, irrational hatred that is just going to see a black, basically, or white or whatever it is? Uh, you think I'm so insane, that I'm so poisoned with a hatred that I will... Just keep my eyes closed to what I stated, to the truth about what went on. No, sir. 